hi guys uh, welcome in another video and this video is about uh, skill assessment how to apply for a skill assessment uh, uh, as a civil engineer so i just have applied a few couple of weeks ago and i'm still waiting uh, for a outcome as you can see that my assessment in acute is up there high there all right so if you and uh, the first thing is you need is uh, a account in a engineers australia website so once you made an account then uh, this thing is will be come up there start msa application which is migration skill assessment just simply click on that and they will take you on another page mm, all right so so they have few cautions uh, on the first page which is very important that what please select the assessment type on if you will click here so it will come up with the different uh, uh, classifications so with a uh, cdr first one is cdr and then australia australian qualification dublin accord sydney accord washington accord so if you're not sure like in which uh, category you you are uh, so just simply if you can click on the msa booklet so they will take you uh, so you can okay so in this pdf file you can scroll down uh, so in content part if you can see in a section b here so they will they have explained everything um, what is australian qualification what is washington accord sydney accord and blah blah so but <clears throat> in this pdf file they haven't shown you if for of your course and in which university you are in uh, so so they are um, like what what is the uh, what is the category of assessment type uh, will um, fall in so if you want to check this one then just because you can simply check my another video i have shown there like which pdf file you have to download and uh, there you can see uh, uh, your course is uh, in a dublin accord washington accord or in an australian qualification all right so my one my was in a washington accord just gonna simply click washington accord here and assessment of your relevant skill is employment yes uh, if you are doing phd then it's yes otherwise no and then click just simply on submitting by an application management begin msc application right so all right so a few things you really need that uh, in this application that is uh, uh, your uh, transcript and your, your current resume as you can see here uh, first thing is your passport style photograph which is uh, they have explained here we like, what is the size of that and what i don't know like uh, what is the resolution of that uh, picture should be and uh, uh, so yeah so you and they need your passport style photo like uh, above your shoulders so you just uh, need to simply add here and another is uh, prime identification document which is your passport uh, include your passport if you have name change document then you can include here as well and uh, and they also need your current resume and if your uh, um, study need, requires a uh, cdr report then uh, you have just a simply click on this section here and sorry simply just and um, all right so the next section is uh, you, about your sorry about your english test then uh, it depends on uh, different different uh, occupations and different different courses uh, so basically they need a um, six each uh, score in ILERS and 50 each in um, a PTE score so if you have done already and if you should done before you apply for this uh, skill assessment and just simply attach your report here and uh, with the reference number so I'm going and I'm just going to fill this quickly and then I will see you on another page all right so the next page uh, is about your qualification that what qualification you have done and uh, just make sure you mention everything here which is already has shown on your uh, certificate or in, on your completion letter so you fill all the details here and in the discipline is if you're a civil engineer just fill civil engineer here if you're a mechanical engineer mechanical engineer and your institution name the country australia where you have done this and or if you are applying for a an, um, skill assessment and you have done your study out of, outside of australia then you have to mention other country here and your qualification and uh, if you have uh, not been uh, graduated yet and you just have a completion letter then you can uh, attach your completion letter here as well and another thing is your transcript and the date of completion where you have you finished and then simply click on next 
And uh, the next page is about your uh, employment that you have to give all the details about your employment, who's your employer, and then your position and title, start date, end date, your hourly rate per week, and the evidence of employment. That the evidence of employment will be your employer reference, where in that employer, employer reference, he will explain to you, your employer will explain about your duties and responsibilities. So, yes, just make sure you attach here and then go to the next page. So yeah, so that is the application overview now. What you have provided, they have explained here. Then just simply, uh, simply click on these all declaration things that you have agree with everything. Simply click on them and then, all right. So here we have a fast track uh, option here. So if you want to, if you need that very as soon as possible. Uh, so the only far only way is the that is a fast track so in this way you will get a skill assessment uh, within 20 business days which means uh, four weeks uh, if you're not going through a fast track then you will get uh, in eight seven to eight weeks roughly uh, and also it's gonna affect on your payment as well if you're applying through a fast track then you have to pay some another extra some extra money for that and we can so okay so we can simply click on this one and then you see how much upload your document for seed payment We're gonna take some time here so here we are at a final thing that is a payment and uh, as you can see like the how much they have charged they, they have explained already so the fast track application and they, you have to pay 335 dollars extra uh, so otherwise it will be around 866 dollars now it is 1200 dollars so if you're happy to pay this money and you want to get as soon as possible you can do that and the last thing does is click on i have read this on things and uh, click submit and then you have to fill your card details all right guys so that's it for today and if you have any other questions just please uh, simply write down in the comment section and uh, make sure you subscribe this channel uh, just to encourage me uh, for another videos all right guys see you in another video